Hi, this is Shadi and today I want to talk about a very important figure in mixed martial arts and martial arts in general and that is Kazushi Sakuraba. Now, we all know that Kazushi is very known for his battles against the Gracies. He is known as the Gracie Hunter, uh, specifically for his fights against Hoyce, Euler, uh, Hanzo and Ryan. We all saw uh, the head kick uh, to Euler. Uh, we all saw the broken arm of Hanzo. Uh, we all saw the uh, referee decision, the unfair referee decision against Hoist, and Hoist tested positive, etc., etc. But uh, for someone who is 50 years old, there's a lot to go than just his battles against the Gracies. And today we're going to talk about uh, his origins and upbringing and some of his accomplishments. Basically, anything besides. Uh, the Gracie battle because there's a lot more to talk about than just the small aspect of his career. So, let's begin. So, Sakuraba was born on July 14th, uh, 1969 in Showa, Akita, Japan. He is 50 years old uh, at 190 pounds at 6 feet tall. So, he has a very extensive background in shoot wrestling, catch wrestling, uh, freestyle wrestling, and, you know, amateur wrestling academy formations. So, uh, he's mainly a grappler that went into mixed martial arts. So, uh, at childhood, he was very inspired by the New Japan and Japanese professional wrestling scene. Uh, specifically, Tiger Mask was one of his inspirations. And growing up, myself watching the WWE and the WWF and learning the concepts of striking, grappling, reversal, submissions, uh, etc. and how to win a fight using tactics, it really uh, inspired me to become trained in fighting. Now looking back and seeing how, uh, you know, for example, the submissions are poorly locked uh, or etc. It's not 100% real. Nonetheless, it did uh, encourage me to train in fighting and I would understand why Sakuraba was enamored as a child. So, at 15, he joined a amateur wrestling uh, academy in order to become a professional wrestler, but uh, he was also doing freestyle wrestling in high school and ended up being second in the entire uh, country. So, he was high elite at a very young age. So, but still, he decided to chase his professional wrestling dream and fought in several uh, organizations, being the Union of Wrestling Forces International from 93 to 96. Uh, and to him, this is the uh, most realistically looking uh, professional wrestling organization. There is also uh, Kingdom Pro Wrestling from 97 till 98, and very recently, New Japan. Pro Wrestling uh, 2012 to 2016. So uh, he went back and forth into wrestling, mixed martial arts, grappling, submission grappling, etc. Uh, so let's talk about his uh, mixed martial arts uh, record. So he fought first in the UFC. Uh, he had a very short career, but the majority of his career was in Pride. This is where he fought the Gracies, for example. Um, there's also Heroes and Dream. He had many rivalries, uh, for example, Funaki. Uh, so you can see how extensive his career is, not just fighting uh, the four Gracie brothers, uh, Ryan, Hoyce, uh, Hanzo, and Hoyler. So his total MMA record is as follows. A total of 46 matches, 26 wins, Four of them by knockouts, 19 by submissions, and 3 by decision. Uh, losses, 17. 10 of them by knockouts, 3 by submissions, 4 by decision, and 1 by draw. So you can see that uh, he is very, uh, you know, controversial figure. Uh, he tapped out, he got knocked out. Uh, he won by knockouts and 19 submission wins, which is very impressive. So, which shows you that, you know, even if you are among the greats, losing isn't so much a bad thing. It's It happens. Uh, we do lose. 
um, we do go into professional wrestling. Um, for example, uh, Ronda Rousey did not hear the end of it going into the WWE, but you know, uh, being very accomplished in mixed martial arts, yes, she had a terrible ending due to her uh, camp. Uh, Kimura as well finished competing. He went into professional wrestling. I did uh, talk about Masahiko Kimura in an older video. So the trend of going into professional wrestling and also uh, quote unquote realistic uh, fighting is a thing. It's not just Ronda Rousey that uh, she fought, she lost, and then went into WWE because she could not do anymore. Um, it's a apparently a thing. So, I would say uh, Kazushi uh, Sakuraba is one of uh, the best in the grappling world and also the mixed martial arts world. He has very much established his legacy. Uh, there's no doubt um, that he is one of the best. You cannot talk badly about him. Uh, even in uh, submission grappling, he fought Hanzo in Metamoris, ended up in a draw. So, not just in mixed martial arts, he fought the Gracies. Uh, there's also the invention of the quintet, the five-man uh, elimination system. The If you see uh, the uh, uh, Eddie Bravo uh, podcast with uh, Joe Rogan, he talked about uh, his team against Sakuraba, where he said the famous uh, quote, Avenge your brother's loss. He was talking to uh, Gio Martinez, and uh, it was against Sakuraba. So... Um, he has invented stuff, he is innovative, he's also very skilled. Um, there's so much we can talk about him. Um, and also, even in professional wrestling, you'd have to be somewhat skilled because you're gonna be, uh, you know, jumping, putting your body at risk, um, being physically fit. Look at the WWE superstars, they're all training, uh, take steroids, uh, put their bodies on the line, Triple H. Uh, tore both his quads in one uh, match uh, so it is it is fake but it's not as easy as it, as it sounds so um, you do have to be somewhat skilled and for that I do give uh, the professional wrestlers credit and Sakuraba as well um, and lastly before I finish off this video I want to thank you all for 500 subscribers uh, this is truly amazing. Uh, I keep getting comments and uh, and opinions on my old videos, not just the new ones. So apparently my, my videos are still being watched, still growing in numbers, even the old ones. Uh, because I do not speak about a certain event. I, uh, I speak about a certain someone, so anyone at any time will go in and see these people. Um, and I'm very happy to provide information and also engaging in discussions with all of you. So thank you all for 500 subscribers. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.